I can't believe it's been 10 years since we uh, did Hikino. Um, it's crazy that it's almost been 10 years that we even graduated high school. Can you believe that? I know, I really can't. You know, it was such a great experience to do Hikino, and who knew that 10 years later we'd be here talking about it? I know. So I do remember when we were working on our project for Hikino, and when Miss Roy approached us and said she wanted us to do this project, Maui County was just about to implement um, a ban on plastic bags. Um, and that was really the beginning of the two of us standing up for what we wanted to do and believing in our story on plastic bag alternatives because Maui was in the first the first in the state to pass that kind of um, ban. So it was really important for other people to know about it. After the January ban of plastic bags, Maui County sought to find other alternatives to fill the void. It was much worse. Um, with the trade winds, all these fences all along the outside, the trees, all the litter screens, everything was usually full every day, even though we'd clean it up pretty much every morning. I think the fact that we're friends made it made us perfect teammates because you know there wasn't really it never really felt like one of us was like more than the other and I really just feel like we tag teamed everything we played to each other's strengths uh you know you were way better at video um I don't know what I was supposed to be good at but I feel like we <laughs> were equal <laughs> yeah and I think you know it really never occurred to us to go off by ourselves because we're a team and we're, we still are. As other islands mull over the banning of plastic bags, you can consider some of the alternatives used by Mauians. This is Monica Majano from HP Baldwin High School for Hikino. You know, the Hikino experience was so valuable to both of us because personally, I went into public relations um, and worked in the U.S. Senate and it, I really used the same skill set that I had used in Hikino. I never was able to take another broadcast journalism class just because of my work schedule in college. So Hikino and um, doing video club with Mrs. Roy are really the only formal video training that I've had. And that translated into me getting an internship in the Senate because I knew how to take photos and frame photos. Um, and frame shots to working for Senator Hirano as the youngest press secretary in the United States Senate and then her deputy communications director. And throughout that time, I did all of her video, all of her editing, and I learned that it was a really valuable skill to have kind of um, that combined video digital experience with public relations experience. After I left Hikino, you know, once I went to UNLV, I studied broadcast journalism for four years. And in each of my classes, I had never realized how much of a leg up I had over everybody else. And that really, really helped me when I was, you know, getting my first job, getting my internships. And every little step that I learned in Hikino really helped me develop my voice as a news writer. And I started producing at our Fox station in Las Vegas. Um, and I worked my way up from associate producer to producing the 10 p.m. newscast and eventually uh, now being executive producer of the morning show. Um, so everything, I really genuinely feel like everything that I learned video-wise, I can attribute to the skills that we picked up during Hikino. Uh, 10 years ago, I don't think I would have believed that I would be you know, managing a morning show and, uh, you know, having an entire production team and a, an entire news team that I'd be directing and calling the shots for. I don't have words for how speechless I would have been 10 years ago to know the kinds of things that I'm doing today. You know, I think if 18 year old me working on Hiki No saw where I was now, I, I wouldn't believe it. I didn't, you know, it was a dream of mine to be CJ Craig from the West Wing. Um, but when I went to, even when I went to college, I didn't realize that you could do commu political communications as a career. And to be able to do it in the U.S. Senate and to be there for two Supreme Court nominations. And it's just this incredible experience and not to be home in Hawaii, but really to have the same ethos the whole time, which was what I was taught in Hikino and in Mrs. Roy's broadcast journalism classes, that everyone has a story and we're here to tell those stories. Thursday night at 7.30 on PBS Hawaii.